Chapter 18 A recluse is self-indulgent, snarling at every sound principle of conduct. Fools have no interest in understanding, they only want to air their own opinions. When the wicked arrive, contempt, shame, and disgrace are sure to follow. A person's words can be life-giving water. Words of true wisdom are as refreshing as a bubbling brook. It is wrong for a judge to favor the guilty or condemn the innocent. Fools get into constant quarrels. They are asking for a beating. The mouths of fools are their ruin. Their lips get them into trouble. What dainty morsels rumors are, but they sink deep into one's heart. A lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run to him and are safe. The rich think of their wealth as an impregnable defense. They imagine it as a high wall of safety. Haughtiness goes before destruction. Humility precedes honor. What a shame, what folly, to give advice before listening to the facts. The human spirit can endure a sick body, but who can bear it if the spirit is crushed? Intelligent people are always open to new ideas. In fact, they look for them. Giving a gift works wonders. It may bring you before important people. Any story sounds true until someone sets the record straight. Casting lots can end arguments and settle disputes between powerful opponents. It's harder to make amends with an offended friend than to capture a fortified city. Arguments separate friends like a gate locked with iron bars. Words satisfy the soul as food satisfies the stomach. The right words on a person's lips bring satisfaction. Those who love to talk will experience the consequences, for the tongue can kill or nourish life. The man who finds a wife finds a treasure and receives favor from the Lord. The poor plead for mercy, the rich answer with insults. There are friends who destroy each other, but a real friend sticks closer than a brother.